If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, if you want to tell me you hate my videos, the best way to do it is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Mac Miller's perk dealer gets arrested, and Azalea Bain comes at Lizzo. Plus, WAC 100 says to Rock Nation, I want my money. Let's talk hip hop. All right, yo, so this situation is crazy, right? Um, so this dude, uh, Cameron uh, Petit, or whatever his name is, Cameron James Petit, uh, got arrested yesterday, um, almost a year to the day. So Mac Miller died on September 8th or September 7th, 2018, and almost a year to the day, uh, this dude gets arrested for selling Mac Miller the uh, pills that he overdosed on, right? Um, and this whole situation is crazy, right? Because basically what they're saying, uh, the prosecutors are saying that, you know, the pills that Mac Miller uh, had, basically Mac Miller called this guy, uh, Cameron, to uh, come over to his crib and give him some um, perks, right? But Mac, you know, per uh, perks have oxycodone in it, right? So oxycodone is the thing in the perks that really gets you high and you be like slumped over and stuff like that. I mean, it's the same thing that like Little Peep was on, right? It's the same thing that's like in the, um, the codeine, like the promethazine and all that stuff that you know people be sipping and mixing with sprite and all that stuff it's just in a different form so instead of it being like in a syrup form it's in a pill form but it's the same exact thing right um but anyway, so a lot of times, especially like when the streets are dry, instead of them giving you like actual Percocets with oxycodone in it, they'll give you Percocets or imitation Percocets or like bootleg Percocets basically with uh, fentanyl in it because fentanyl kind of gives you that same high a little bit, right? Um, and so that's what Mac Miller had, right? So this dude Cameron ended up selling the fentanyl pills to him and not the real deal original stuff, right? I've been seeing that stuff talking my yo a lot of this stuff is mixed with fentanyl molly everything right um but the whole situation is this right i love mac miller right i think his music is dope um i think that he was a cool personality too right soft spoken like he wasn't all over the gram and all over social media like beefing with nobody he chills he takes his pills he smokes his cigarette hangs out with ariana grande um and that's pretty much it right mac miller was a cool dude right but he also liked to get high i mean he liked drugs right whether uh, who cares why he wanted to get high maybe he just loves the feeling right maybe he was depressed right but it doesn't really matter about why he liked to get high it's the whole situation is the fact that yeah he liked to get high right he's the one that called Cameron up right Cameron didn't say yo you better take these pills or I'm gonna kill you right he's the one who said yo I need some perks and that's when Cameron came over to the crib to give him some right um but I get it, right? So they're saying that the reason why that he's arrested is because the the pills that he sold him were imitation Percocets, and that went towards the cause of um of you know Mac Miller's death, right? And I get that, but come on now, is Cameron when he picks up you know his pills or his package or whatever from the plug, is he really like looking into it and making sure like you know pulling out the chemistry set and and doing like okay this percent of fentanyl versus this percentage of oxycodone is in the pill and blah 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 of course not right you know and of course you know the pills are cut with different stuff whoever makes the pills because I'm sure this dude Cameron didn't make the damn pills right um, you know that's why some of the pills are pink sometimes that's why some of the pills are tan colored that's why some of the pills are white right and these pills that Mac Miller had these are the actual pills these pills are white it looks like it right um, so you know, I don't know, man. It's an unpopular opinion, but I get it, right? And they have him in custody, uh, and they denied him bail, too. So, I mean, they're probably going to convict him of something. I mean, and after all, I mean, he is a drug dealer, so they're probably going to convict him of that, you know, to say the least. But in the maximum, you know, sentence that he could probably get um, is for, you know, involuntary manslaughter because basically he killed somebody, but he didn't know. He involuntarily killed somebody, you know, by a mistake 
or whatever the case may be by giving him this drug, right? And that's the same kind of charge they gave um, Conrad Murray. If y'all can remember when Michael Jackson overdosed on Provovol, um, Conrad Murray, who was Michael Jackson's doctor, who was giving him that drug or medicine intravenously uh, every single night, ended up giving him, I guess, a little bit too much or whatever the case may be. They arrested Conrad Murray and they gave him four years in prison in Texas for involuntary manslaughter. So it's happened before, but it's just crazy because again, Michael Jackson didn't have a gun to his head and somebody didn't say, yo, shoot this up, right? Michael Jackson was like, yo, I need this to go to sleep. Michael Jackson loved getting high, right? Uh, but anyway, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. So, <laughs> Azalea Banks, right, comes at Lizzo, right? And this is crazy, right? So, Azalea Banks is from New York, man. She's from Harlem. She's from my hood, right? Well, I'm from Brooklyn, but we both from New York, right? Um, anyway, the whole point and situation is, right, that Azalea Banks basically went on a long, long rant on Instagram, uh, which she s deleted or somebody deleted or maybe somebody reported it. But the bottom line in the rant is, and y'all can like pause it and read it or whatever like that and i'm not gonna read the whole thing but y'all see it right here right basically she's like um lizzo is making fun of herself uh lizzo is a joke when will lizzo learn that uh the whole country of america is making fun of her because she's fat um she's you know cooning and jiving and and acting like a mammy almost like the millennial version of a mammy um that she stole her whole style and flow from cupcake um that you know missy elliott and queen latifah were able to represent for big girls but not make fun of themselves and dance around and tap on stage and let people laugh at them not with them um she basically said that the only reason why people liked Adele was because Adele was fat too. And then when Adele lost weight, um, a lot of people didn't like her either, but they kind of still mess with Adele because she's white. Um, she said that Cardi B is illiterate and that Lizzo is a fat joke. And that uh, the reason why uh, people like Cardi B and like Lizzo is because they picked, you know, the worst of, you know, minority women to represent us or, you know, the culture or whatever the case may be right um and she goes on and on and on and on about it um talking about why didn't you know jasmine sullivan get this kind of respect um but you know we're, we're respecting lizzo instead and all that other stuff right and it's just crazy right first of all uh jasmine sullivan didn't get this kind of respect and notoriety because jasmine sullivan is not a rapper right lizzo's a rapper jasmine sullivan is an r&b singer and she's like more on her like india Irie kind of neo soul kind kind of feeling right so of course she's not gonna get you know that you know super huge stardom as a Lizzo right Lizzo's a rapper right first of all right second of all right um why are you shaming this girl because she's confident in her body right so I'm sure that Lizzo didn't you know blow up overnight right Lizzo's been in the game for years and I tracked it back to I think like 2016 when she first got her record deal and that was three years ago and we're all just finally here about her a few months ago right so that whole situation right there shows you that she's been working hard working hard gaining her stage presence gaining her confidence gaining these songs to go you know get viral and get bigger and bigger and bigger so that now you know she can present herself in a way that everybody's like yo i'm messing with lizzo and she's dope right for me i think that lizzo has fire music right and then also for me i think that azalea banks is a trash ass rapper and that she has garbage music right and i think that azalea banks also has um a mental health issue to be honest with you because it seems like you know she's very jealous and that every single time a female comes out that you know azalea banks sees you know because azalea banks has been in hip-hop and been rapping in the game for like the last 10 years right but azalea banks has kind of been stuck in one spot right she'll see a female behind her or not even see the female at all and then pew, the girl passes her and goes up to number one and here's azalea banks 
Banks with the jealous, crusty face, all upset, looking like all mad and everything because she wishes that she had that spot, right? She came at Remy Ma until Remy Ma went at her on Twitter, right? She came at Nicki Minaj, yo, until Nicki Minaj just kind of shaded her and was like, yo, I'm too big to even acknowledge this girl, right? She came at Cardi B, right? And now she's coming at Lizzo. She comes at every female rapper who uh, rises to the top because she feels like she should be at the top and she's not, right? And so she's trying to blame everybody else. Uh, has to be society. Let me blame society. Um, no, okay, well, no, it has to be, you know, Cardi B. Let me blame the individual rapper. No, okay, well, maybe I can blame Lizzo because she's just putting on a show and embarrassing herself and doesn't realize everybody's laughing at her, not with her. Yeah, I'll blame, why don't you blame yourself? Why don't you blame your attitude? Why don't you blame your thought pattern, right? And it's crazy to me because y'all know I'll be on my like woke shit, right? But to me, I feel like Azalea Banks will then, you know, use the black thing, try to use the woke thing as, you know, to hide behind it just to say that, oh, pop, 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 I'm throwing shots. And it's my personal opinion, but pop, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then hide behind being woke, you know what I'm saying? She's not woke. She's salty. She's garbage. She's not really all that talented, right? I can't name a song from Azalea Banks, right? I probably heard like one song by Azalea Banks that I even liked, right? I was in my car and you know, this female was in my car and she's like, yo, let me play some music. I'm like, whatever, right? Go ahead, hook up to the Bluetooth, right? So she starts playing music and she already knows that I don't feel Azalea Banks, but it's not about, you know, me, you know, sitting up here trying to talk trash about her. I mean, it just is what it is. Like she's not a one good person to a talented artist, right? But anyway, so she's playing Azalea Banks in the car and you know, I bobbed my head a little bit at the end of the song. She was like, did you like that song? I was like, yeah, it was cool. And she was like, that was Azalea Banks. Like she tricked me into listening to Azalea Banks, right? And I'm and I, look, I'm not saying that all her music is horrible, right? But I'm saying that Azalea Banks has no hits. She doesn't have anything that will rise to the top. She doesn't have anything that'll be number one, right? So if, if this is really how Azalea Banks felt about Lizzo, why don't you say it last week when she was performing on MTV? Why don't you say it two weeks ago when she was performing on that award show? Why don't you say it a month ago, right? But you're saying it today because yesterday it was announced that she's number one and has the number one song in the country, right? And you're salty and upset about that. So then you're coming at uh, you know Lizzo and trying to just call her a menstrual show or saying that she's cooning for America when you know all she's doing is giving a dope show and a dope stage presence body positive and uh, you know a pretty face and and yeah she's bigger than you and uh, physically I mean and still is crushing you and your fans and you mad that's the whole situation but um let me know what y'all think about this in the comments So Wack 100 goes on Instagram, right? And he's like, uh, warning, Rock Nation doesn't like to pay. Don't do upfront business with Rock Nation without getting a deposit. Uh, when we do this, it's called gangsters and bullies and thugs. But when they do it, it's a mistake. Jay-Z, tell your team to send me my money. I've been told three different dates since the service has been rendered. Um, the contract uh, keeps everybody honest. Crooks with a smile, Rock Nation, right? And this is crazy because, yo, I mean, uh, yo, every probably like once a month, right? Wack 100 comes out and he says something like in public or does something like to maybe like keep, you know, relevant or go viral or whatever, you know, the case may be, right? And I don't know, you know, the behind the scenes, you know, business workings of Rock Nation, Jay Z, and Wack 100, right? So for all I know, Wack 100 could be straight up, you know, serious, telling the truth about how these dudes, um, didn't pay him, right? Um, but also, I kind of feel like, you know, just like with that Mike Tyson thing, which was not real, right? Wack 100 and Mike Tyson staged that whole physical fight, which wasn't a physical fight, um, because they wanted, because Mike Tyson was like premiering his new podcast and they wanted to get like a good first, you know, day viewership or a good first week viewership, right? Which is all cool in promotion, but also I guess, well, not I guess, I mean, also you're misleading the fans and everybody else who's thinking, you know, this situation is going down this way, but it's really not. 
not, right? So I guess maybe there's other ways to promote something, right? And I don't know if WAC 100 is promoting anything. You know, uh, he's Blueface's manager and he's the game's manager and also he's Ray J's manager, right? Um, I don't know uh, what he's doing, right? And then also I feel like if there's business that goes on behind the scenes and nobody from the other side said anything publicly, then why would you, right? But then also, if you're not getting paid and you've been told three different dates, you probably will be frustrated and figure the only way to get this thing rectified is to go public and embarrass you and make people go, oh man, he's telling people that we don't pay. Let's just hurry up and pay him so he could shut up, right? Because this post was put up and deleted and basically, Right after that, well, a couple hours after that, maybe like two hours later, you know, he puts up this other post right here and he goes, Rock Nation, you know, thanks for the payment, right? So basically, it seems like it was rectified, but also it could have been, and I don't know, right? So I'm just reporting on this because WAC 100 is very polarizing and who knows what to believe when it comes to him, but I'm just saying that, you know, either it was rectified a couple hours after he put up that initial post, which is why he deleted that initial post and then put this up or it was all you know just for some kind of promotion or all for you know the blogs me to talk about it and you know get all crazy and then you know create a problem and then solve that same problem within the same day and then no harm no foul everybody gets more followers everybody gets more clicks everybody you know goes viral right um but i don't i don't know man uh let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification notification bell follow me at johnny fastlane on instagram y'all already know what to do peace